Hi everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to Star Stables. So we've got a new mission today um, to do with the gondola lift. I have done a couple of other things to help progress this mission, but we're going to go in here and speak to someone. So basically, we need to borrow a bulldozer or a digger or something. So I'm going to go in here and ask the guy about possibly getting a land of one. So, But I think he wants us to do something for him, so let's see. Excavator? I only have one, you know, but you can borrow my excavator if you help me with something. We have a lot of free time up here, so I have a lot of time to spend on my favorite hobby, video games. Right now, I don't have any good games, but there is a game I really, really want to play right now. It might be the best horse game ever. The problem is, I can't seem to find it here on the island. Somebody has to have it. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse is what it is called. Horses and zombies, my two favorite things. Okay. Find me a copy of that game, and you can borrow my excavator. Like I said, I have no idea who might have a copy of it. Maybe someone who's interested in pole bending. Find someone who's interested in pole bending and see if they have a copy of Zombie Horse Pole Bending Apocalypse. Okay, who do I know? Josh, Josh and Merlin might, because I know that he has a pole bending course, so it might be him. So go and ask Josh, I guess. Sounds like a fun game, actually. I think one of my favorite games, and I know this isn't relevant to this, but it was like Undead Nightmare um, that was on Red Dead Redemption. It was one of the most fun things ever. The Four Horses of the Apocalypse and Zombies, and it was brilliant. It even had a unicorn. It was really good fun. Right, so we're going to go to Merlin and get Josh. And uh, see if he has any tips for us in that respect. Okay, yeah, looks like Josh is the right guy to speak to. He's got a green arrow, or green activation mark over his head. Right, Josh. Zombie horses versus excavators. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. I have that, or at least I used to have a copy. Well, that's no good to me. <laughs> Lost zombie horse. It was a really great game, but I... A, much too scary for me. The pole bending tracks were so scary they give me nightmares, but I couldn't seem to stop playing the game, so I threw it away. The problem was I couldn't find a single garbage can in all of Silverglade, not a single one. Eventually I sneaked up behind Jasper's old house and hid it in one of the old uh, stuff in his attic. He has moved away, so I thought it wouldn't matter. I'm a little embarrassed about it now, so you don't need to give me a hard time about it. The game um, is probably still there anyways. Okay, so ride to Jasper's house and look through the old attic for the zombie horse pole bending apocalypse video game. Right. Josh, you're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Right. Old Jasper. He's way over here. So I'm going to go find him. And see if I can find the game in there. I wonder if we get to play it. I hope we get to play it. That would be fun. <laughs> Alright. Jasper, 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 Jasper. I always slightly forget where Jasper lives. I don't know why, because I've gone to Jasper's house like a million times, but for some reason I always seem to end up forgetting. Alright, he is up here. So let's hope that it's there somewhere. Okay. I think I know where it is, if it should be, like in here somewhere. Jasper's house. Okay. There we go. Right. Now to walk around here slowly and so that I don't fall out already. Oh, there. There it is. Is that it? Please be that. Okay. You don't find the game, but the hat looks familiar. Who did that hat belong to? I don't see a hat. <laughs> you remember that hat? Who was wearing it? Find the owner of the hat. I don't remember who was wearing the hat. I have no idea who was wearing the hat. Please give me a bigger clue than that or we're going to be at this like all day. Um, no need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? There we go. Oh, who do I know that wears hats in this game? Um, I'm really not sure. I don't, we're not, probably not going to find a clue on the map anywhere either. Let's read the text again in the quest log and see if that helps. 
Right, ongoing. Whose hat is that? Find the owner of the hat. You remember that hat was who was wearing it. Is there a hat in my inventory now or? Um What does it say on it? Can I let's see, can I wear it? No, I can't wear it, so I can't see it better. Uh well, I feel like a complete muppet. I have no idea who this who this hat was. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's James's. It like looks very like James's. Maybe it is. Right, okay, let's go up and see James. If it isn't James, then I have no clue at all who it might belong to. Um, I'm trying to think of everybody who wears like a white hat. I think James has a white hat. I think. We're gonna go down here and he doesn't have a white hat, but I know that James wears a hat. There's not many people that do, and I think there's some people who wear like cowboy hats. Yes, it is James, thank god. <laughs> okay, well it is James, thankfully. Right, James. And if anything to go by, James always makes you run rings around yourself to do anything. Right, whose hat is that? Hello, Dragoslava. Hey, that's my hat. I lost it a few days ago. You're wearing it, though. Where did you find it? Jasper's old house. It's good that I sell those hats so I never have to... Oh, go without one. Okay, that's why you have some. But it's nice of you to ride all the way back here to return it. Zombie horse pole bending apocalypse. I have that, or I used to have it. What have you done with it? What have you done with it, James? Give it a game. I remember now, I thought I would start a, a used goods market, which would work great here in Fort Pinta, and I needed things to sell. I thought maybe Jasper had left some stuff behind that might be good enough to sell, but the only thing I found was the game. A zombie pole bending apocalypse. That must be the best game ever. It was so much fun to play. I played it all night and all day and then the night again. I forgot to take care of my customers. It was that good. You understand, I couldn't keep doing that. So I had to sell it. Of course you did. The person who bought it was an old lady from Fargrove. I think her, ga her name was Mrs. Morse. She said she had never played games before but wondered what it was like. So I sold her the game and my old game console. I'm sure she has it forever if you want to speak with her. Okay, so we need to go far grove. See Mrs. Morse. Well, at least that's a little bit more direct. <laughs> Let's not get lost. Okay, so we're finally at far grove. Let's we'll see if we can find Mrs. Morse. Should be in here somewhere. At least we've got the green dot, which will help. No, where would she be? Um, oh, showing Felicity. Maybe Felicity knows where she is. Video game all day. Mrs. Morse, she lives here, but we haven't seen her since this morning. Let me guess, she's stuck in her house just playing this game. <laughs> on the way to the top. Mrs. Morse, she lives here in Fargo, but she isn't here now. Yesterday I saw her ride out here faster than the wind. Her horse was packed with pole bending poles. I have never seen her so riled up about anything. She screamed, yeehaw, when, when she saw me and rode up through the mountain uh, pass towards Valdale Lake. Ride through the mountain pass to Valdale Lake and look for Mrs. Morse. Now we're going on a wild goose chase, right? We need to go up here somewhere. Oh, I've forgotten how to get to Valdale Lake. Right, we're going to ride through the mountains, so we're just going to try and um, take a rough guess as to where this woman has gone. <laughs> Why can't she just be in her house playing this game and make it easy? She'd have to go running through the mountains somewhere. Right, Mrs. Morse, we're going to find you. Bring in our really great tracking skills, I hope. Possibly our non existent tracking skills. No, please don't fall that out. Okay, it's alright. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think what way she would have gone. So maybe this will help. Maybe these signs will help. Um, championships further. Okay, no. I think I'm just going to kind of go in the direction of the mountains and then we'll see if she's sort of in that direction, I guess. So I'm sure she must sort of gone this way. So the mountains are there. Maybe. See, I don't, I don't know if it's the road or if it is like literally up into the mountains. So maybe we can go up this way. Maybe this is what she meant. Those we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Oh, I think it's getting a bit steep. 
I don't like the look of this. It's getting very steep. And he doesn't do so well on steep hills, so I'm not liking this at all. Yeah, I thought so. I was waiting for that to happen. Um, I don't really know where the pass through the mountains is other than... Ooh, sorry, Dragonborn. Um, right, let's look at the map. Right, we've sort of gone... Maybe we should just go up to the lake and come back. Um, I think maybe we'll go towards the road. I think that's a safer option. And then... Um, Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to make you fall. I'm not going to make you fall. I know it's very um, steep and I am making gallops on it, but it's, it's okay. Right. We'll try and get back to the road, maybe. I don't feel like she's going to be in here in some really obscure area, but she'd never, she probably is down by the road. I'm probably overthinking this. Um, it's just, it's far too steep because then I can't really figure out how I would get into the mountains this way. Unless I actually think I know where she is. But I think I've gone too far now. Hmm. There's this path, I remember, that I tried to go up before. And it went up into like the mountains. And I remember seeing race stuff there, like stuff that I couldn't race yet, but there was things there. So I'm wondering, is that it? Oh, whoops. Sorry. Maybe. Oh, okay, right, we're, we're at Valleal. This looks like it's going up the mountains. Maybe we need to go up here. Let's try this. I think, I think this might bring us out where we need to be. Okay, race. Who's up here? Let's see. This might be. This looks like it's taking us up into the mountainy area, so it might be what we're looking for. I'm hoping. Hopefully, Mrs. Morse will be up here somewhere. I hope she, um, she didn't get any wild ideas. I feel like we're going the right way. This feels like it's sort of the right direction because we're near the lake. We're up in the mountains, so I'm thinking we're going the right way. What does this say? Race, Valdale. Okay, we'll keep going this way. I think this is going to be about right. Okay, we're by the lake. I hope we haven't gone too far and haven't passed her. Um, Well, there's another steep bit. Maybe she came down that way or went up that way. Let's see. We'll go up and check at least. In case she went up this way. So I don't feel like she's going to be in the lower parts near the lake. I don't think she's going to be there. And this is kind of taking us back towards Fairgrove. So I think we're sort of doing it backwards that we might find her this way. Something down there. Oh, there we go. The horse is very red hair. Or it's actually a pony, I think. Heidi! Yes, I'm Mrs. Morse. Okay. Woo! Woohoo! What a game, zombie horse uh, pole bending apocalypse. I've been up all night playing it. Um, when the sun came up, I knew I had to make a proper pole bending apocalypse race, just like in the game, but now I'm not sure it's a good idea. Now that the course is done and I've calmed down a little, the course actually looks, well, it looks really dangerous, actually. I don't think I would be able to ride it myself. You want to have the game? Oh, I don't know. It was so much fun. Tell you what, if you can manage to ride my pole bending course, I'll give you the game as a reward. This sounds a bit too good to be true. Um, it's all got very ominous all of a sudden. Right. Oh God. Right, let's go. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, no. Was I supposed to jump that? Wait, I was supposed to jump it? What kind of pull bending course is this? Oh, I don't even know. Right. Oh! <gasps> oh, okay. Right. Um, I think I'll change into, like, 
gear that will help me a wee bit more in terms of um, stats and stuff. So let's say try that again. This woman's going to end up killing me. Right. Let's try that again. Right, okay, we really need to focus because this is going to be like really difficult, I think. Okay. So we need to jump and not hit the fence, not hit the fence, not hit the fence. Right. Oh my god, right. How do I do this? How do I do this? <gasps> right, don't go over there, don't go over there, don't go over there, don't go over there. Right, that was really difficult actually to keep that going. Oh, no, 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 I completely messed that up, completely messed that up. Right. Um, jump backwards. Ow. Whoops. Right. Let's try that again. It's really, really tight um, turns in this, so it's not easy at all. Right, okay, if I take this a wee bit wider, it might be a wee bit easier to turn. Not by much, but a little bit. Right, okay. I shouldn't go too fast, because otherwise I am going to end up wrecking the horse on myself. Right, it's better to do this encounter. Trying to do this too fast is like going to be a really bad idea, so I'll just sort of keep the counter going. Seems to be a better idea. Uh, right, we got a bit further that time. <sighs> Doing this full pelt is not a good idea. Right, jump. It's so easy to mess this up. Right, okay, really wide turn so that it's easier to get around this. That, okay, that was a lot easier to do, but I've missed the turn, right. There's so many things in the way. Right, I need to jump. No, I don't need to jump this time, I need to go around. And then it's up around to here. Turn again. Okay, this is a bit easier. I'm glad I'm not trying to do this at like full speed. No, 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 no. I'm not crashing again. Absolutely not. Even if we have to backtrack a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit anything as I turn around. Just can't see anything. Right. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Come on. I don't really want to go over the edge. Right, where am I going now? Jump. Jump. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Don't mess it up. Oh, thank God. Right. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. If I have to do this as a daily race, I'm going to lose my mind. Right. Well done, but can't I keep the game? It was so much fun. Don't you start this. Don't you dare start this. Just give me it. No, you are right, Sai. A promise is a promise. Here is Jorvik's only copy of Zombie Horse Pool Bending Apocalypse. Right back to the person who gets to keep it, Sai. Thank Okay, I'm gonna call for pickup. Actually, before I do that, I'll put my stuff back on. I like her horse's flame, like orange red hair. It's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. It's got oh, he's got red eyes too. Very interesting horse. All right, I'm gonna call for pickup, and um, then I'm gonna go and give this guy his game, and that'll do. Because <laughs> that was like way too much. Oh. Right. At least that is that done. That was not easy. I didn't want to try doing that like at full gallop. There's just no way I would have stayed on the track. Absolutely not. It was much easier to do that at a counter. Any faster and I felt like I was going to go over the edge of the cliff or I was going to hit the spiked poles. So. But it's interesting, actually, because there's something different. I like the ominous music to it. It's kind of neat. Might try it on one of my other horses at some point in the future, because I find my Frisian really hard to turn with. Not like really hard to turn with, but not as like quick and nimble as some of my other ones. Right. Don't beep your horn at me. Okay. This big guy better lend me this excavator knife. <laughs> After all of that, he better. Because that was like exhausting. Right. 
Okay. I've got your game. I don't do a lot of stuff to get this, so you better appreciate it. Awesome, I'm going to play this until my eyes bleed. Ah, the activator. I'll come over with it soon. I'm just going to test out a little game, a little out of this game first. Well, that probably means that he's not going to come back ever. But at least he's now got the game, and hopefully he will not be long after it with the excavator. I can, I can wait. I don't mind so much. Oh, that was exhausting. Okay, guys, well, we'll leave it there. I hope he's in love with it. Up.